A new organization called Leap Personal Finance is designed to help expectant parents and new families achieve higher levels of wealth in order to provide for their new lives. Founders Caitlin Cano and Jennifer Ibarra have both been serving the church through their work at Compass Catholic for years. Their new venture, Leap Finance, aims to tackle one of the main reasons that couples often choose abortion, struggles with finances. Their unique vision made Caitlin and Jennifer the winners of this year's Save the Storks Pro-Life Innovators Summit, and they just launched Leap earlier this month. Caitlin Cano, executive director of Leap Personal Finances, joins me now. Caitlin, thanks for joining me and congratulations on all of these accomplishments. Tell me about Leap and the programs that you all provide to pregnant couples and new families. Yes, well, Leap was inspired actually on the day that Roe v. Wade was overturned. Um, I have a lot of work history in financial wellness for underserved populations and for those dealing with poverty. And Jennifer is a um, works with Compass Catholic as our business manager, but her work history is in pregnancy resource centers. So when we had a conversation on that day, we realized we had a unique set of skills that put together, we could really benefit those mothers who are abortion vulnerable because of their poverty. And nearly three quarters of those who choose abortion do so, citing finances as their main concern. So we said, we have these skills, we have these abilities, we have these trainings. How can we help that mother who is in that moment of making that decision, make the decision for life and a decision where she and her child can thrive together? Yeah, that's really beautiful. And putting your two heads together really makes for the perfect kind of skill set. That's wonderful. Um, can you explain a little more specifically some of the major financial hardships that most new families face that, that lead them down that path, that tragic path of abortion, especially here in the U.S. where inflation is through the roof right now, what, what's making it hard for parents to choose life? Oh, I mean, there's so many reasons. And really, it's a storm that she's facing and, and the father as well when they're, um, you know, confronted with an unexpected pregnancy. Not only are they dealing with potential um, income loss because she needs to take time off um, to have the baby and to, you know, um, go through that maternity leave, they're also dealing with an increase in expenses. And they're hearing numbers about the average cost of raising a child yeah. from birth to 18 is well over $200,000. Um, they're hearing that along with news interviews about crazy inflation and grocery prices going up and all right. these different things. So it really does lead to a perfect storm of her saying, I'm dealing with poverty. I'm dealing with inflation. I'm dealing with decreased income. I'm dealing with all these new expenses. And what do I do? And when she goes into an organization like Planned Parenthood, they tell her unless she makes the decision to abort, she's basically guaranteeing herself and her child to a life of poverty. Yeah. We're saying there's another way. There's something else you can do. And so what we're doing with LEAP is we're creating a financial empowerment program that is going to be run in pregnancy resource centers and maternity homes nationwide, where we show her and meet her where she's at. We're not starting with, you know, how do you invest or how do you open a, um, you know, a retirement account? We're mm -hmm. saying... How do you utilize your government resources that you are going to be applying for and use that in terms of your holistic you know, um, financial health with you and your child? And how do we grow from there to reach financial sustainability? Often these mothers are dealing with multi-generational poverty, and it's not just situational. So there's a lot of other factors that come into place rather than just learning how to budget. It's a lot more than that. Mm, I see. I see. What's unique about your programs at LEAP compared to other resources that young families might turn to to achieve financial stability? Oh, I think what makes us most unique is, um, I mean, first of all, we are very faithful in our, in our approach. Um, we do know that this is a ministry that is ordained by the Holy Spirit, and we were just called to steward it. So we have that lens the entire time. We do um, emphasize to her and to the husband, um, to the father as well, that their net worth is not their self-worth. So we really try and tie that into the theme of the program that um, she is worth more and he's worth more than just their checking account balance. Mm. Um, we also are a very holistic program. We are one that creates accountability through volunteers at the pregnancy resource centers and maternity homes. Um, we train those volunteers as well to work with the clients. And then we have a full app-based program that utilizes evidence-based interventions to keep them going along. We use um, drip content, very small bite-sized pieces of content. Um, and we also integrate 
their preferred learning styles, which is social media these days. So mm. our app, which runs over the course of six months while she, you know, she and he are getting these lessons dripped into their phone. Um, the, the videos are going to look like things they would see on TikTok or on Instagram shorts or, you know, whatever it is on YouTube shorts and it's content they're used to seeing. So we can introduce the new material in a mode that they're used to receiving new material in, and that increases the effectiveness of the program. Mm, that's great. It's great to know that you're meeting people where they're at. I think that's key, especially when you're dealing with, with someone who's facing so much uncertainty. Caitlin, just a couple, uh, we have just a couple seconds left, but before I let you go, um, how can our viewers help LEAP? Uh, what do they need to know in terms of giving? Right. So we just received our 501c3 yesterday, and that is the most exciting news we've gotten in a long time. Congratulations. Um, so go to leappersonalfinance.org. We are a nonprofit. Um, we're also looking to partner with financial institutions who want to utilize their CRA funds um, in a life-affirming manner. So um, Catholic credit unions, Christian credit unions, um, banks who want to affirm life. If they want to partner with LEAP, go to our website, leappersonalfinance.org, and they can learn about how to partner with us so we can bring these resources to their local communities. Perfect. Well, Caitlin, thank you so much for all the work that you're doing. Congrats again on this new venture. Um, we're so excited to continue highlighting it in the future. Caitlin Cano of LEAP Personal Finances. God bless you.